What's going on everybody? This is Brendan. The channel is Dad Planet and you are watching the one man show. This video was recorded on a Monday and on Mondays you and I go thrifting. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to hit the thrift store, see if I can find anything very, very cheap to flip on eBay. We're going to make a little bit of money and hopefully we'll learn a thing or two along the way. But for now, let's get moving. All right, first store with my best little buddy in tow. These Olympus stylus cameras, this is a 300. They're super popular right now. Keep your eye out for them. This one here is like kind of the lower end. I had it listed for around 30, 35, and I took an offer of 28. It sold within a couple of hours. Seven bucks is a little bit pricey, but these are in super high demand. This isn't even close to the most expensive ones that you could find pre-owned in stores. So please keep your eye out for these stylus cameras. Super hot right now and huge, huge money in a lot of the uh, other styles other than the one that I found there. So that was a good find right there. Next here is Yves Saint Laurent. This, I found a couple of their cosmetic bags at the Goodwill bins. Totally empty, very light, and I've sold them in between the 20 to $25 range. This one is pink patent leather, very clean on the inside, has a cool mirror to it, and has like lips on the exterior. So at $3, I, you know, I've had success with it, so I'm going to get this one here and uh, I'll put a price tag of $25 on this one as well, although uh, it's gonna be pretty difficult getting it back from my youngest daughter, but we will get that photographed and we will get it listed. Probably going to sell um, a little bit slower, might be a little bit more long tail than some of the other items, but those other ma uh, makeup cases sold for me really quickly. So check the aisle here, make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's hit some shoes. Uggs, I don't buy a ton of Ugg boots these days. Those ones were just not in really good condition. Same with Converse, I buy some. I don't buy every pair that I see. So I passed up on both of those. But I have a nice pair of Dance Goes coming up here. And so these are um, like a metallic, shiny, they have a hibiscus design all over them. They were, very, they were very clean, size 40, which I think for them is like a nine and a half, 10. Got these photographed and listed, and these actually sold relatively fast for me as well for $40. So we have some really quick sales here on items that I've sourced not that long ago, just through really a couple of days ago. So 40 bucks on those, can't beat that. And that's it for this store because it's just, it's a, a very small store. Their hours are kind of weird, and uh, I don't have a ton of success in stores with uh, so little to choose from. So moved over to another one here. I got a couple of out of print DVDs south of nowhere. So the long and, sto the long and short of this program is it's the story of a family and the, like the trials and tribulations of them moving from Ohio to Los Angeles and all of those things that come with a move like that and sort of self-discovery along those lines. I haven't seen the show, but I was floored when I saw the comps on those DVDs. They're only gonna cost me $2 each and I have each one of them listed for $70. So that was a great find. There are three seasons. I had seasons one and two there. I couldn't find the third one here, but I do find a memory card here that has a sold comp for 80 bucks. So even though they want $6.99 for this, I picked this thing up and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get it listed for $70 sealed media, or excuse me, $80 sealed media, always good. And then I grabbed one pair of shoes in the store, a very clean pair of Merrill Moab ventilator twos. These are a men's size eight and a half. These are a very consistent 30 to $35. One of the th one of the shoes I don't put in the wash are these shoes because they have plastic on the exterior that tends to crack when I throw them in the wash. I've learned the hard way, so I don't put those in the wash anymore um, like I do with the majority of my, uh, of my shoes here. Sony DVD or a uh, five disc CD player for 10 bucks with the remote. To me, this is a no-brainer. I already got it home and tested it. It works perfect. Nice thing about these is like around the holidays, people like to put their their Christmas music, like five discs worth of it, and just kind of let it run on repeat. So those are really, really useful. And I have uh, I have it listed for a hundred bucks. So great find there. Next door here, found a Calvin Klein cologne. This is a natural spray cologne. Price is kind of all over the place here. So in Terrapeak, I saw a sold for 225 I think I saw a sold for uh, right around $160, but I, I've also seen some sell in like the $60 range and the $80 range, so I feel like I'm gonna kinda land in the middle here. I'm gonna price mine at 140 even though I see a lot of them listed in the 100, or excuse me, the 200 to 225 range. 
I'm gonna be somewhat aggressive there because the prices are so sporadic with solds for that spray. So half the time I wanna be you know, priced kind of at the top and the higher end of things. And around 25% of the time I like to kind of fit in the middle and that's where this item is going to go. And then the other 25% of my listings I like to price aggressively. That's just sort of how I've done it for years now and it seems to work well for me. But that's one of those items that's probably gonna just go in the middle because I can't really make a decision. Uh, and if it makes sense to price that at the top of the market where I just don't see a ton of them selling for those uh, $200 price tags. So, Hoka, I love this brand. And this would be a great pair of shoes. So, the exterior looks like it needs to be cleaned a little bit. They are obviously missing the insoles, which isn't normally a problem. In fact, I just sold a pair that did not have insoles very quickly. The soles on these shoes look tremendous. They look great, but one of the things that was a deciding factor in me passing it was the hole right here. Even though it's small, you know, now we're talking about an issue where I'm gonna have to touch up the midsoles myself because I don't think that they will come completely clean just in a wash cycle. Then they don't have the insoles and they've got the holes on the back here. We've got a little bit of a hole on the, on the front. There's just too many things I think for me to overcome in order to pick these up. So I'm gonna leave those behind. If they had the soles, I might have made an exception for the insoles, but I just didn't see it. Too many issues with that pair of shoes. So we're gonna leave those behind. Maybe somebody else will grab them. Move over to the carts here. Boring cells. So not everything is a, you know, a Sega Genesis, right? This is just a very basic timer transformer and Sure enough, the list to sell ratio using the UPC code here as I fumble to try to get inside the box is there are four currently listed, but 28 have sold in the last 90 days. So even though this thing is big and boring and clunky and they only want $5 for it, I'm gonna pick this up because the numbers are saying that this is going to sell and it's going to sell quickly. So if it is in pre-owned condition, I'll list it for 40 bucks. If it's brand new in an open box, I'll probably list it towards the 50 to $60 range, but boring absolutely sells. Do not be afraid to pick those items up, especially if you know it's going to be a fast seller, which I assume based on the numbers that we just talked about um, are, and it will be a quick seller. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. No, it's not, you know, it's not a sexy pickup, but it is what it is. Check the baskets here. I don't really see much along this aisle here. So we are probably gonna have to check out. I'm gonna drop the little one off and I'm gonna make one more stop here before it's all said and done. Get her a nap and we'll move over to the other store. So this is a pair of Ultra. These are Hit XT2s. They are a men's size 10. If you're not familiar with Ultra as a Bolo brand, please familiarize yourself with it. They are great sellers. These were in fantastic condition. Gray with a little bit of a exterior orange, orange on the soles. And look at those soles. I mean, they're in, they're almost perfect. So I'm gonna grab those at $6. That is a $50 shoe. I will list those at $50. And um, the fact that they are men's, they'll get a little bit more money than the women's in the exact same style, just based on the research that I had done. So keep your eye out for Ultra. Really nice brand here. I like these wave creations from Mizuno, but there's too much too much damage going on on the midsole there, so left those behind. This is a really unique piece right here. So this is called the, the Toastolator. I think that's how you pronounce that, and in, I don't even know what the brand is, but it is all chrome, and it's a toaster from the late 1940s, early 1950s. So you can see there's a little bit of damage right here. Like it's, it's cracked a little bit, but when I when I touched it and kind of moved it around, look, felt like it was glued in place pretty nicely and it still sat flat. So we're gonna test this when we get home. This store does not have a return policy on electronics, so you really have to take a chance here at $17. But if it's working, even with the damage, I'm looking at a minimum of $100. So that was a pretty good pickup. If it works, we're gonna find out here in a second. And then to top it off here, a pair of on clouds. I'm seeing the prices come down on this shoe pretty considerably. Please tell me if you're having the same experience, but these are women's size eight. They're pink and gray. The soles are in pretty decent condition and they only want $4 for them. So I thought I could get way more than the $45 that I'm gonna list it at, but the sold comps don't look as good even as they did a month ago. And it, please tell me if you sell these, if you sell shoes like this, 
in this brand. If you're experiencing the same thing, let me know because the prices don't look anywhere near what they did a month ago. So we'll take one last glance at everything here just to see if I haven't missed anything, but this door must have been decimated over the weekend. So it's looking pretty thin, but let's go home and test that toaster. Bread, toaster. All right, let's see. I don't really know what I'm doing here. So I think that's on. Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to whisper, Gwenny. Um, I don't know which way this goes in. Is this going this way? All right, I'm gonna stick it here. Let's see what happens. It should like, oh yeah, look, it's gonna take it. Rooster. Hold on, let me feed it a little bit. There we go, look, see it going in? This could turn out to be really good or this could turn out to be really bad. Whatever Cody wants. I'm gonna stop the video and we'll fast forward it to when this thing comes out because I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. And I don't wanna set my house on fire. Okay, look, it's gonna fall out on its own. This is it? That's all the to so if you look at the settings right here, it goes from one to six or seven, with six or seven being the lightest. So I have it on a light I have it on a light setting, but I mean it, it works. It's just light toast. All right, I spent a total of $76, and if I'm lucky enough to sell everything for my full asking price, I stand to sell it all for $823. Not a bad haul, right? Pretty satisfied with everything. Thanks so much for tuning in. Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today. And then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. That's it. That's all I've got for you. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one.